end off this entire section on compute, let's just take a high level approach and compare the three major compute options again. On the left hand side, we can see we have virtual machines. So this is where we have physical hardware, a host operating system with a hypervisor controller running on top of that. On premises, that's typically VMware and Hyper-V. In Azure, Azure takes care of that for us and we put our virtual machine on top of that. Our virtual machine has its own virtual hardware and can run say Windows or Linux and then we deploy our applications inside there. When we look at containers, now again, we sort of take in the physical hardware. We've got the operating system now, which could be Windows or Linux at this point and a container engine running on top there instead. We no longer deploy the OS every single time we want to deploy a new application. We simply deploy the application along with its dependencies as containers which have already been tested and we know that they run effectively. Finally, we have serverless. So now we have physical hardware, host operating system, could be a hypervisor again, running some other additional application on top there to provide serverless capability. Uh, and that's the serverless runtime. And now we simply deploy functions and individual APIs basically that can scale out as needed. So instead of say taking that bit of code and packaging it in a container, this is a you know very small piece of code that can scale out. And typically, you know, we don't like to see functions run any more than 10 minutes, which is the standard limit um, as of right now provided by Azure. Uh, so with all three of those, again, it comes down to decoupling. Containers is typically the sweet spot because it allows people to kind of package things up, do things in a little bit more familiar way, get everything they need together. Uh, and then if you really want to get creative I and mean, you've got logic apps, functions and things that can scale on demand in a much more serverless way, then by all means, continue down to serverless.